So we're going to replace the front wheel speed sensor. It's also the ABS sensor. To do that, we have to take this wheel off. We're going to go ahead and take these lug nuts off, the 19 millimeter socket. And we'll go ahead and remove the wheel. Let's set that aside. Because our speed sensor cable runs up and underneath this shield here, we're going to go ahead and remove it. I'm going to start by taking this first clip off. You choose a panel tool or a plastic body tool. Now we have a couple of 8mm bolts holding this shield in place. We'll go ahead and remove those. In this case, this bolt was a 7mm, not an 8 like the others. So we went ahead and switched over. Take that out. We'll get these two last clips. Grab your trim tool, pop them out. So we're going to go ahead and remove this speed sensor, ABS sensor. We're going to go ahead and undo this bolt. It is a T30 star. Okay, we're going to go ahead and remove the sensor. Next, we have a few spaces where the sensor is clipped in. Go ahead and grab your panel tool and pry those out. And the last clip should be here with the plug itself. I'm actually going to try and unplug this first.
we're going to reinstall a new speed sensor. Go ahead and put it in place. Slide down. Grab your bolt with the T30 star screw and put it back into place. Next, we're going to go ahead and put these clips in to secure the cable. And the last clip before you plug in. Here, pull a little slack, put your last clip into the frame of the vehicle, and plug in to the vehicle side connector. The speed sensor is now installed. We'll go ahead and put up the rest of the panels. Going to go ahead and reinstall the splash shield underneath, put it in place. And push in your clips. Go ahead and reinstall this bolt. Now this bolt on our vehicle is a 7 mil, which is different than the rest of them. The other two are 8 mils. We have one more panel clip here, pushes in place. So now we're going to go ahead and reinstall the front wheel. Line up the studs. Go ahead and thread the lug nuts on by hand. I usually like to do a top until it's snug, push in, do a bottom, just so they're snug. Then you know you're somewhat flush against the rotor. Then we'll go ahead and install the rest of the lug nuts. Again, tightening them to start by hand. Then we'll loosely seat them in a star pattern with a 19 millimeter socket. So now we'll go ahead with our 19 millimeter socket on a torque wrench to torque the front lug nuts down to 103 foot pounds torque in a star pattern.
when only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.